Hello and welcome to my reading for the June the 3rd, 2023 Sagittarius full moon. With this full moon forming a fast moving trine to passionate Mars, there could be romance or a daring activity wrapped up in your getaway plans. The next two weeks are the ideal window to kickstart any big projects you've been dreaming about, but curb the gambling tendencies of Sagittarius. This full moon will form a limiting square to cautious Saturn in Pisces. And on that note, we'll jump straight into the reading. We have communion. So there's going to be some communion happening. Perhaps it's just about your relationship with yourself. Are you feeling worthy of your union? Are you feeling worthy of this love? Because you are worthy, no matter what you think you are. No matter what you think you have done that is wrong, you are not wrong. You are not guilty. You're perfect. You're divine. As we move into this full moon energy, there is no better time to claim your divinity and set the intention to embody everything that you are. This is the time to let go of what no longer serves you. And it's time to awaken to the truth of who you really are. Letting go of what no longer serves you can look like making... The choice to accept love into every area of your life. It can also be deciding to no longer accept any limiting beliefs of this world or the fearful conditioning you've been taught to believe in. Because in truth, you're worthy, innocent, a divine child of the universe, no matter what the world and your life experiences have led you to believe. You came here to change the world and overcome old belief systems, thereby bringing a new way of being into existence for all. Your divine self knows this and is ready for you to fully embody the love that you are. You are called to accept your worthiness right now to embrace the fact that you deserve nothing less than a divine romance and life full of purpose with your twin flame. And that will bring joy and stability. Like a beautiful summer day, this card brings you joyful energy. Take a break or step back just for now from any concerns you may have around matters of the heart. Spend some time in happy pursuits. A lot in this reading about going away for the weekend or something. Find reasons to celebrate with others. Welcome this warm, sunny energy into your life. Allow it to lift your spirits. Remember the law of attraction and a high rate of vibration will attract to you all that you desire. Rejuvenate your relationships by renewing yourself. Lovingly open your heart and mind to others. Share your thoughts. Be a good listener above all. Feel the ebb and flow of energy as you communicate with others. You'll find this brings increased stability and warmth to all your relationships, helping you attract the relationship you truly desire into your life. Oh, there we are. Eros, love. Step out of chaos and allow love to direct everything. Let love do the work here. A new love is liberating your mind, body and soul. With this great love that's coming in for you comes complete trust, vulnerability and ultimately the rewards of this will be immeasurable. Call upon love to help you step out of your personal chaos and organize your life with love. Your heart will be healing from past hurts. With love must come forgiveness. In truth, there is nothing about you that is not from divine love and of divine love. You and your twin flame were created in perfect divinity, and every aspect of who you are is perfectly divine. The way to your divine romance with your twin flame if through the remembrance and acceptance of your divinity. Accepting yourself as divine is a simple choice. It starts with making the decision to love yourself as you are right now. Loving yourself is the way to remembering you are a divine being. And through your own self-love, you'll begin to embody your divine self. The mirror exercise is a powerful tool of self-love that will help you heal your mind into alignment with divine romance that you feel in your heart. And as you heal yourself, your twin flame will naturally do the same and vibe into your life, 
for you to experience the full extent of love together in union. No matter what life experiences you've had or mistakes you think you've made, the core of your being has never left the divine. You deserve nothing less than the divine partner created for you by the divine. You are worthy of this highest form of romance and love and your harmonious twin flame union. It's safe to accept yourself and divine and to accept nothing less than the partner created to reflect your divinity back to you. With your choice to embody your divinity, there's no possible outcome other than for your divine relationship and romance to manifest. Claim your divinity and divine romance by stating the decree, I accept myself as a divine child of the universe. Wow. Yeah, there's a lot of really good energy rushing in with this full moon. Make sure you take full advantage of it. Practice self-love, self-care. Keep choosing your union. All this good is yours. Thank you. Bye-bye.